This video will review some of the key functions of a PAX viewer that everybody should be familiar with. I'll be using PAXBIN, which is a web-based PAX, but it has a lot of the similar functionality as the hospital-based uh, light or um, web-based PAX viewers that you'd use for work or for training. So first thing is, is this uh, case has some annotated uh, slides, which we will not be manipulating. We'll actually use the original series here, which are the DICOM images. And you can see the blue taskbar uh, loading the images at the bottom of the study, and now we're ready to start scrolling through it. So this scroll stack feature allows you to hold the left click down and smooth, uh, smoothly scroll through the study, which can be less fatiguing. The adjustment of window uh, level settings is a very important thing to be familiar with. So this is a standard window that helps us to see the enhancement of the, of the abdominal organs, and we can do some manual adjustments here to do more of a liver window, which helps um, settle areas of variable enhancement, uh, which is due to hepatic steatosis and sparing or subtle small lesions, the small cyst will, will, will uh, really stick out a lot more using the narrow liver window. We'll go back to a more standard window and show, for example, if we want to look at the spine, uh, the bones really are kind of very bright and white and difficult to see the definition, so we widen that and use more of a bone window to, to evaluate the osseous structures. And when looking at the lung bases, we'll use a lung window, which helps us to see some mild atelectasis. I'll use more of an intermediate window to look, such as this one, to look for free air, which also allows me to see um, some of the abdominal organs and bowel at the same time. There's often um, selectable default window level settings to so soft tissue. Here's bone and lung, so it doesn't always have to be done manually, but it is handy to be familiar with how to do that. This inversion setting is really used primarily for radiographs and not in CT. Um, the zoom in and out feature can change the size of the image, which can be helpful for when you're showing your colleagues or reviewing it by yourself, uh, pan to move it around. Reset will bring it back to the default with which you pulled the images up. <clears throat> you can play a cine, which is probably most useful in the setting of ultrasound. And the basic annotation functions, you can draw arrows to indicate abnormalities. You can label structures. Uh, measure key findings, which we generally do in two or three planes. So here's AP with transverse, and then oftentimes if it's an important finding, we'll include a craniocaudal measurement as well, which we'll do on uh, the coronal view or sagittal. Elliptical ROIs for measuring Hounsfield units. One thing that that helps us to do is to, uh, for liver versus splenic enhancements, to look for hepatic steatosis. <clears throat> and then in a portal venous phase study, if this is less than 40 Hounsfield units compared to the spleen, it indicates hepatic steatosis, which is about 70 less. Uh, it also helps us identify fat or fluid within a structure. Uh, toggling overlays just moves these small overlays in and out, which is more relevant when there's a complete DICOM header with patient information, but this study is anonymized. Um, one thing is changing the layout and getting a sense of looking at abnormalities in more than one plane. So. This coronal image as we scroll through it, this helps us to know the slice uh, anterior and posterior. <clears throat> and then as we scroll through the axial image, we can look at the craniocaudal slice to help triangulate abnormalities. Oftentimes, um, you can double click an ab abnormality and it'll automatically triangulate on some packs, but that function doesn't work on this one. This also has a download feature when most packs allow you to download at least individual images. And then in particular with this viewer, there's some um, comments and notes on the side as well. So that concludes the video, um, and I just encourage everybody to click around and get some experience with window and leveling um, so you can show and find abnormalities like a pro. Thank you.